I'm Daniel. I'm Jay-Z. And this is Just My DIY. Last week we told you we were super impressed with the super color transfers we got from our sponsor, Pro World. This one made with Pro World's online designer for super color. And that one taking advantage of super color's super gang gang sheet. In that video, we showed you the traditional use of Supercolor transfers, which is apparel. Now we're going to experiment with it a little bit more off-label. Now some of what we're going to try makes sense. It should work if you follow the logic. Some of it, we're not quite sure if it's going to stick and we might be pressing our luck. So you should stick around and find out. <laughs> And here's how these Supercolor sheets arrived. We ordered 10 of each, 10 of the gang sheet and 10 of the design we made on Pro World's website. We're gonna heat up our Transpro Plus heat press from Pro World to 320 degrees and set the timer for 15 seconds. And while it heats up. Do I have something in my teeth? We wait. Delicious waiting. <laughs> These gang sheets cut so well. They're not sticky at all on the back, and this is actually a recyclable carrier sheet, which we particularly like. Um, so we're just going to trim out all of our designs while we finish waiting for the heat press to heat up. We're going to begin with what we believe are the most likely options to win. Like this apron. It's made of cloth, and these are designed to go on cloth. We're just getting warmed up here. You will see that we're going to use a pressing pillow, and that's to get us around the seams that the apron has. And while we set the pressure, we're conveniently ironing out our apron. That's right. Pressure is key for super color transfers. We're looking for around a 7 on this machine uh, because it has a pressure gauge. We know exactly when we get there. And once it pops, it's hot. So you peel it. Very quickly, within two seconds. And it looks so good on this apron. And that apron will look so good on me. Now we pull out the canvas notebooks. These are from... Michaels. Yay. <laughs> so we're gonna take anything that could melt out of them and put it in the press and forget to lint roll it or anything and just start setting the pressure. <laughs> We do love that we can see when we have the exact pressure for each of the different blanks that we're using, so that is definitely a bonus of this press. So we get it aligned on there and give it a nice press. Now, of course, Pro World's heat press is fantastic at the self lift and peeling tape teachers. <laughs> Auto peel. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll notice that we did actually have an incomplete press. We're missing the center of that egg. And that's probably because there's a little bit of a ridge with these covers on the notebooks, but this allows us to show you that you can actually repress Supercolor transfers. And so now we have an A. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take the other notebook apart, though, fully and stuff a pressing pillow into it so we can avoid any of those ridges and a second mistake. We learn. We learn well. <laughs> and reset the pressure because that pillow did change things. These pillows are from Pro World as well. It's really good to have a set of pressing pillows around when you're doing a lot of stuff with a heat press. They really do enable you to get a nice, even press and get around major seams. So here we are centering our logos on the opening of flap. <laughs> and we press it and wait for Pro World to pop it. So the bottom one didn't press as well as we had wanted it to. It could have something to do with uh, an extra ridge that is in these notebook covers. But we gave it a second press and voila. Even though they needed a couple of presses, both of the notebooks turned out beautifully. Next up is a pillow. Now we have learned when you're heat pressing things with zippers, Make sure that they're not plastic zippers, and if they are, hang them off the back of a pressing pillow. Plastic zippers, when they melt, don't really work anymore, <laughs> do they, Jay-Z? They do not, Daniel. Why do we know that? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you know that? <laughs> 
this is that custom design that we did fully on Pro World's website, and it looks so good on this pillow. And the zipper does work, thank goodness. <laughs> it actually turned out to be a really nice pillow. Next, we're going to do a tote bag. Now, the tote bag is interesting because it does have these thick straps, which do create ridges that we had to kind of work to, to get around. We tried a pressing pillow in that front pocket, but it wasn't quite big enough. So we put the pressing pillow on the back, give it a quick press and a nice lint roll, put our super color transfer on there, and go for it. I mean, look at that. All those individual paws, they all stay down. We got a nice, even press. And now we have a really pretty tote bag. Yay. Yay. I'm going to love using this. <laughs> now the riskier ones. Will it stick? Great question. Let's see. Up first is a shadow box. Now this does have fabric covering the backing, which is why we thought it might have a possibility of working. Um... We're it stunk. It, it had a smell. It did. It, it smelled interesting and it flattened out a little bit when we pressed it. So, as you will see, the super color transfer did stick. We're just not sure that we do this one again. Without wearing proper masks and ventilation. <laughs> We're not sure what was in it. Be careful it, when you're pressing. But look, it came out nice and it's going to be a nice travel fun. We're going to put it money is. in that box and we're going to go places. That's true. Now we pull out some leather. We had some scraps laying around. And we we're like, hey, maybe this will take it. So we cover it with some Teflon because we don't know what's exactly going to happen. <laughs> we iron it flat. Get that pressure set. Place our little logo since we have so many of them thanks to the gang sheets. <laughs> and cover it with uh, Teflon again. Now what you'll find out is that the ridges of the backing did leave impressions, but the logo stuck like glue. Now we're going to try a wrapped canvas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is... What? Let, let's not ruin the suspense. We did put some wood in it to get that even pressure. And we will go ahead and admit, some of what you're gonna see is user error. Typically with something this thick, you wanna use a swing away press, but we were having such good luck to this point. So we did everything, the Teflon sheet, the pressure, tried to equalize it, went to peel it. Oh, son of a Oh no, his left. But luckily, we did know that you can repress these Supercolor transfers, so we decided to do a little bison surgery here. Give it another press, and... Lose a foot. <laughs> Third time is a charm with the bison on the wrapped canvas. And just like Lieutenant Dan, in Forrest Gump, the bison now has new legs. <laughs> and a great story to tell generations <laughs> on generations. Now this is probably the blank that I was most excited to try and it's wood because we know HTV will stick on wood and so that's where we kind of got the idea that maybe Supercolor, even though it's not HTV, but maybe it would stick on wood. So we heated it up, put that custom transfer on. The one we made on Pro World's website. <laughs> and gave it a press. Now, it turned out beautifully. And we can tell you from our test that putting this outside like on a um, covered porch, it actually does stay. And now we bring up the metal. We're going to clean it and cover it and I'm not sure why we're ironing it flat. It's kind of already set. <laughs> we're just heating the surface, getting any extra liquid that could still be on it off. Really? Yeah. Liquid and metal. Yeah. 
Blood from a stone. Let's go. <laughs> Now, I was going to say, we weren't all that impressed with this. No, we did have some issues with a couple of things sticking. We had to fix that V, fix the A, and even after we did that, it just... It stuck, but it didn't look good. <laughs> we hope that all of this at least inspired you to think outside the box with the Supercolor transfers and think what else you can put them on to get the most value from them. So if you like this video, then you should click that like button, subscribe, ring the bell. If you have any ideas for us to try Supercolor on, leave mm -hmm. it in the comment line. Yeah. And of course, know that everything we use to do this is listed down below. Also in the description are links to our social handles. Please connect with us across platforms. We love hearing from you. Also down there is a link to our blog. And we just wanted to close out by saying thank you so much to Pro World for sponsoring this video. We love the heat press, love the Supercolor. Highly recommend that all of you guys check out Pro World and what they have to offer. Thanks so much for watching. You know what happened to us. <laughs>